In this video, we're going to explain the installation process of Microsoft Seal on Windows. Microsoft Seal is a library that allows software engineers, data scientists, machine learning engineers, and researchers to run computations on encrypted data using a technology called homomorphic encryption. To get started, we first need to clone the source code from github.com slash Microsoft slash Seal. Go to the website, click Clone or Download, copy the URL, and clone it with Git. I'll put the source code to c slash libs slash seal, but you can use any other location too. In the seal folder, we have the Visual Studio 2017 solution file seal.sln, readme.md that contains installation instructions for different platforms, a folder native that contains the C++ library, and a folder .NET that contains .NET standard wrappers for SEAL. Let's open SEAL.SLN. You will need Visual Studio 2017 or newer to build SEAL. On the right-hand side, in the Solution Explorer, we can see several projects, and as you can see, they are organized under filters called Native and .NET, mirroring the directory structure of the code. In this video, we will build the C++ library which is the project named SEAL. Before starting the build, we make sure that the build configuration is set to release. Debug mode builds result in extremely slow code and are meant only for debugging SEAL itself. To speed up the build process, you may want to enable multiprocessor compilation from the SEAL project properties. When ready, right-click the SEAL project and hit Build. Building SEAL requires that the Visual C++ Tools for CMake package from the Visual Studio installer is enabled. You'll get an error if it isn't. SEAL uses CMake to configure the build so it is optimized for your machine and gives you the best possible performance. The build was completed very fast because we are using multi-threaded build. In this case, a static library called seal.lib was created in the folder seal slash native slash lib slash x64 slash release. Next, let's write an example application using seal. I'm going to close this solution and create an entirely new empty C++ project called seal demo. The very first thing we need to do is add a CPP file as a source file. Let's call it example.cpp. To link SEAL with our application, we open Project Properties. It's important to have all configurations and all platforms selected here. Next, we add C slash libs slash SEAL slash native slash SRC to the list of additional include directories and C slash libs slash SEAL slash native slash lib slash platform slash configuration to the list of additional library directories. Finally, we add seal.lib as a dependency. We're going to write a very simple program, starting with pound include seal slash seal.h, pound include io stream, using namespace standard, using namespace seal. Our main function will do only one thing, Create a seal encryption parameters object and return. Encryption parameters is a seal class that contains information about the encryption scheme we want to use and settings for it. In this case, we set up the encryption parameters to use the BFV scheme, so we give scheme type BFV as an argument to the constructor. Make sure to set the build configuration to release and platform to x64 before building our little application. We can run it by pressing Control F5. This program gives no output and it will instantly exit. However, linking with SEAL worked and the program ran successfully. In this video, we've seen how to start using Microsoft SEAL on Windows. We built SEAL and created a minimal application that links with it. In other videos, we'll explain the different encryption schemes how to set them up, and how to use SEAL for real computations.